Hi all, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. Hope everyone is doing great. This video will be on rate analysis. And I've already made video on the basics of rate analysis. If you have not yet watched it, please do see it. Because in this video, I'll be mainly concentrating on how to do the rate analysis of the material part. You must be already knowing that a particular item will consist of different elements and material is just one element in that so before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to quantity surveying studio please do subscribe for quantity surveying related videos hope the contents that i've been making is coming useful for you in your career in your professional life so without further delay let's move into the video this is just a basic template that i've prepared for making you understand how to do the material rate analysis before starting this is just the basic way on doing the rate analysis part some people might be doing it in a different way some companies might be having different templates it is not necessary that you need to follow this particular template of this way of analysis this is just a basic way where i have tried to include all the necessary elements under material part so if you require this template do message me in any of the, my social media channels like linkedin instagram or facebook i can provide you with this template so if you see here this is the main part i have divided it into two sections this is one color and this is the other color now this part is the main section and here is the this yellow orange part is where the actual working takes place and from this part only your rate is derived the particular materials rate is derived so if you see here there are different components that i have included so let's understand it by doing one row here so for example let's assume that you have a particular item a so the supply of item a supply item a so let's say it is in numbers let's say it is just three numbers now we'll need to derive the supply rate so if you see the formula here it is the sum of material rate after discount plus the wastage amount plus the accessories amount plus the freight amount and then the overhead and profit amount so that is how you derive the supply rate and supply amount is obviously the quantity into the rate which has been derived so now let's first see what the material rate is so this is basically you will be floating quotations from different suppliers for this particular item A and you will be getting many prices. So the best price or the lowest price is what you take. So let's assume that it is uh, 5000 rupees. Okay, so this is not the final rate. Only after you have included all the working here only you will get the final rate. The final rate, I mean the material rate you received. Now sometimes you will get a certain discount after finalizing a particular vendor. You will negotiate with them and ask for some discount so sometimes they might give discount sometimes they may not give discount so let's assume that after negotiations you are getting a two percent discount so you would add that two percent so if you see here you will get the material rate after the discount after this two percent discount now next part is the wastage so wastage is something like if you're buying something in bulk quantity there might be some wastage for that particular item not not necessary for some equipment type of items it is mostly coming for the items that are measurable like in meters or in kilograms if you see the pipes the cables all those are items where there might be some percentage of wastage happening you will not be using all these items sometimes the items that you receive some particular number or particular meters might be defective so you may not be able to use that items because it is coming in you'll be ordering in bulk quantity you'll be ordering maybe around 1000 meters of conduit in that maybe 20 meters 30 meters might be defective you may not be able to use it so that is a reason why we are considering a wastage percentage sometimes again due to the workmanship you will not be able to fully utilize that particular you know, bulk amount of items maybe in 1000 meters some meters will be wasted away due to a poor workmanship so on accounting all those things we are considering a wastage percentage for big items like equipments and all this wastage percentage might not be that much but you will consider more wastage percentage for all these measurable items so for example since this is a bulk item where it is in numbers we'll just consider 
one percentage wastage so the wastage amount is 49 now next comes the accessories percentage so again with equipment you need to also include some percentage for the accessories for example for pipe uh, you will need to have accessories to fit those pipes the screw nuts all the small clamps so these are some small accessories that you need to consider again for equipments also there might be different accessories that is required to fix that item in that particular project it would be included the pricing will not be separate for such items so if you see the BOK quantities that particular description of an item will be supply and installation of this particular item including fixing it into the particular room or with a proper hanging to the wall or fixing it to the floor so that description will be the setup in the BOQ. So you need to consider all those small items that is required to fix that particular item. So for the equipments, big equipments, you can consider the percentage as more. And for the measurable things like the conduits, pipes, since it is a bulk quantity, that accessories will be little less only the all those fittings, all those clamps, screws. So these are small items. So that percentage might be small. So here I'm considering a 5% accessory. So the accessory amounts has come. Now next is the freight percentage. So again, this depends like whether the freight percentage is included. Freight means the transportation percentage. Sometimes it will be some local transportation. Sometimes it might be international transportation. Sometimes price will be included the freight charges. So depending upon that, you need to fix the percentage of the freight. So again, for big equipments, it will be more. And also again you need to check if it is from where it is coming the distance it might be some local vendors just it might be lesser the freight percentage will be lesser but if it is coming from outside the country or somewhere from far away places the freight percentage will be more so let's assume that this is a local transportation so we will assume some 10 percentage for freight charges finally is the overhead and percentage the percentage this again is debatable whether you need to include it with this supply or whether you need to include it on the total of supply installation anyways it is all the same so here i am including an overhead percentage of certain percentage again depending upon the type of item how difficult how complex this particular work is depending upon all that the overhead and percentage percentage is fixed so i am assuming here as 2.5 percentage so after you have fixed all these percentage you get your final supply rate so if you see the rate actual original rate before the discount was 5000 rupees but after adding the discount the wastage amount the accessories amount freight amount the overhead and profit amount finally you derived your rate as 5859 rupees is what your analysis has come as and multiplying that the three numbers of quantity you will get the supply amount so this is how you do a rate analysis of the material part now for example, if it is in meters, some quantity, let's say conduits, let's assume it as B, so it is in meters. So we need uh, maybe 10,000 meters of conduit per meter. We are assuming maybe 50 rupees. The discount might not be much. Let's say 1 percentage. Wastage will be more because it is a bulk quantity. So we are assuming 5 percentage. Accessory is not much. Let's say 2 percentage. Freight charges, not much. We'll get it locally most, time, most of the times. So 5 percentage. Overhead and percentage depending upon let's say we are putting for this particular project the three percentage as overall overhead profit. So let's assume three percentage itself. So here is our the rate that has been analyzed, we which we have derived from all our analysis 57.34. So hope this basic video has been informative. So as I have told, if you require this template, do let me know. You can message me in LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Because I guess YouTube comments don't take the email IDs. So I need your email IDs then only you can send it across. So if you found it to be useful, do like this video, share it with your friends and help this video reach or help this channel reach the quantity surveying fraternity. Hope it will be useful to all your friends who are quantity surveyors, who are cost managers. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care. Bye.